I had to warm up my voice before I start talking. <clears throat> Hi cuties. Thank you for stopping by my channel again. It's Meringue. You like my ribbon today? It's got these funny looking characters on it. I think they're from the 70s. If anybody knows what these characters are named, please comment below and tell me. I'm gonna stop wearing ribbons, bows. What are, what are these called, bows or ribbons? I really want a necklace that has a TV dinner on it. Or maybe spam. A spam necklace. I'm so kitsch. I love it. Tonight I'm having a midnight movie madness and all of our friends are going to be there so you should come. I'm giving away prizes. There's going to be popcorn and soda pop. We're going to be playing truth or dare and spin the bottle. The first hour begins with Little Red Riding Hood and then I'm going to be playing Little Red Riding Hood and Friends and then it's going to be Little Red Riding Hood and the Monsters also known as Tom Thumb and Little Red Riding Hood. It's those Little Red Riding Hood movies produced by Kay Gordon Murray, you know. Wait a minute, you've never heard of Kay Gordon Murray? Okay, let me tell you who he is so you know what you're getting into. Kay Gordon Murray was an American film producer who took fairy tale movies from Europe and Mexico and redubbed them in English and shown them here in America. Today you're gonna to learn what Mexia Go Go is. You would have had to been a child in the 60s to be able to see these matinees on the big screen. Ah, oh, the 60s. To be young in the 60s. Kay Gordon Murray is also known as the king of kitty matinee. Wait, I want to be the queen of kitty matinee. So these are the Little Red Riding Hood movies I'm going to be showing at the Midnight Movie Madness. Little Red Riding Hood is a little girl, of course, but when she sings, she sounds like a terrible 40-year-old opera singer. It's said it's done in Eastman collar, but they're not very colorful. It's an old print. There's two villains in here. They're Ferocious Wolf and Stinky the Skunk. And their costumes are awful in this movie. Ferocious Wolf and Stinky the Skunk played in a series of K. Gordon Murray movies. They're in all of the Little Red Riding Hood movies. And they're also in K. Gordon Murray's Santa Claus Christmas movies. So there's Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood and Friends, and Little Red Riding Hood and the Monsters. They also call these kind of films Mexia Go-Go. Let's take a look at Little Red Riding Hood. The wonderful world of fantasy. From the magic world of the Brothers Grimm, comes a story to delight the very young, the very old. Ah, a little more salt here, a little more salt there, and a... But how stupid you are, you put too much on. Uh -huh. And everyone in between. Little Red Riding Hood meets the wicked wolf and his bashful partner in crime, the love-struck skunk. After all is said and done, you're a cute little fellow. There's that dreadful skunk smell again. Get out of my way, you rotten egg. Ah, I'll try a little rose water to kill the odor. I guess you're right, boss. Sometimes it gets so bad, I can't even stand it myself. Grandma, dear, your eyes are so large and round. The better you with my dear. Why are your teeth so large, Grandmother, dear? The better to eat you with! <laughs> Here are four new happy songs. Romp with Little Red Riding Hood through the haunted forest. You shouldn't miss the fantasy delight of the decade. Because I know she loved me so. Today I bake the cake, especially to take the sweetest little lady that you'll ever know. The sweetest little lady that you'll ever know. Now the famous characters of the fairy tale world together for the first time. It's all new when K. Gordon Murray presents Little Red Riding Hood and the Monsters. See the Wicked Witch and all her bad guys. Bad guys? Mr. Hurricane. The Robot. Carrot Head. And the Siamese Twins, two in one. Frankenstein. 
A giant spectacle in color with a story children and grown-ups will never forget. Little Red Riding Hood and the Monsters. And introducing a new character, Little Tom Thumb. With all the many friends of Riding Hood, Stinky the Skunk, the not-so-ferocious wolf, and the friendly red-headed ogre. Yes, yes, yes! No! No, 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 no! Yes! 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 yes. yes. Give it to me. Come and get it, old witchy girl. It's mine. 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 We have got, got to, to find, find no way, way to fly, fly with my intelligence and with my experience. Life creates gladness if you want it so. It's all in the K. Gordon Murray presentation, Little Red Riding Hood and the Monsters in Color Scope. Some of the movies that K. Gordon Murray released have some very interesting, colorful titles. Like Mother Goose Birthday Party. We know I love birthday parties. Santa's Fantasy Fair. Santa's Giant Film Festival of the Brothers Grimm. Santa's Magic Kingdom. Wrestling Woman vs. the Aztec Mummy. Rock and Roll Wrestling Woman vs. the Aztec Mummy. The Robot vs. the Aztec Mummy. Magic Land of Mother Goose. I started a collection of K. Gordon Murray movies. So these are some of the Mexia Gogo movies that K. Gordon Murray did, and that's The Queen Swordsman, which I like to think is part of the Little Red Riding Hood series because it has the same villains, the skunk and the wolf. And Puss in Boots, and a really, really, really odd Santa Claus. This movie with Santa Claus has the devil in it. And some other odd fairy tale movies I have on VHS is The Golden Goose, Sleeping Beauty, Tom Thumb, which is the same Tom Thumb that's in Little Red Riding Hood and Friends, and Snow White and Rose Red, which has some really trippy music in the beginning. Let's take a look at Kay Gordon Murray's matinee movie trailers. With Snow White and Rose Red. The two sisters from Storybook Land take you to a marvelous make-believe world of adventure and fantasy. You'll jump up with surprise when you see the wicked little dwarf who wanders through the woods with his magical wheelbarrow. Join the handsome prince as he tries to catch the little creature. And right before your eyes, you'll see the little dwarf turn the prince into a giant brown bear. You'll see the bear join in the family fun and dance with Snow White and Rose Red. And you'll have even more fun when the bear scares a big brave soldier out of his wits and into the water with a mighty splash. They're a joy, they're a delight, and you'll fall in love with them at first sight. It's Snow White and Rose Red. And see the big bad wolf on the same program. Join the excitement as he tries to break in on the cutest little family of kids. See the big magical double feature filled with fun and fantasy. It's all new in glorious color. Snow White and Rose Red plus the big bad wolf. The magical world of the Brothers Grimm and the wonder world of K. Gordon Murray, The Golden Goose.
I have a pair of shoes to make. My shoes are good for all to take. I need nails and I need leather, good in any kind of weather. I have a pair of shoes to make. The hand of the princess will be given to anyone who is able to make her laugh. Also, the person will inherit one half of the kingdom, and all of this is by order of the king. <laughs> it's a comedy riot. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. It's fun for everyone. The Golden Goose. Storybook Adventure. From Fantasyland comes a feature-length story starring a cat in boots. Now a magic motion picture takes you to a fairyland of rock candy palaces. Hmm, caramel. See the haunted forest ruled by the awful villain. I haven't entered your castle to hand you a message. So from this day on is punishment and a lesson. All your lands are mine. But good always triumphs over evil in Puss in Boots. Hear the beautiful song of the princess and many other delightful tunes. Feeling downhearted and gloomy. Kay Gordon Murray again brings to the screen another of his fantasy delights for children of all ages. See Puss in Boots in Eastman Colorscope. in boots. See childhood's most charming and exciting story. See imagination's tiniest hero in an all-new giant adventure. Tom Thumb, small in size, but big in courage, and his six brothers step into a world of wonderful enchantment and suspense, into a world of ogresses and giant ogres. See Tom Thumb in a world that staggers the imagination as it colorfully brings to the screen new excitement and fantasy. See the seven league boots that will carry you breathlessly forward into thrilling adventure. Here is suspense that will hold you in its spell as you live new thrills with Tom Thumb and the storybook characters so vividly brought to life. See adventure at its best. Don't miss all the charm, the excitement, the humor, and the pure joy of a fairy tale that bubbles with delight. An experience never to be forgotten, this glorious story of Tom Thumb, a childhood production's classic. Beauty comes to life with real live actors. The all-time favorite fairy tale bursts upon the screen in storybook color. And am I not invited? Go on. Good. Put the spindle in there. See the wicked fairy trick Sleepy Beauty into pricking herself on the famous spindle. See what happens when an entire kingdom stops and goes to sleep for 100 years. Yes, wherever the wicked fairy goes, you will see the courtiers and the servants
stop whatever they are doing. Even the young cooks in the kitchen, who are always getting into some kind of mischief, stop and go to sleep. See princes battle the briar hedge guarding the sleeping beauty. As each of them vanishes, a beautiful rose appears. See the wall of roses open before Prince Charming. Drive him away, Salem! See him meet the wicked fairy and overcome her magic serpents. Thrill as Fairyland's most famous kiss awakens Sleeping Beauty. It's all new, all live, never shown before anywhere. Those Kate Gordon movie matinee trailers, weird. They are, aren't they? I love it. After the Little Red Riding Hood movies, I was thinking of playing some of Kate Gordon Murray's black and white horror films. His horror films are kind of like something you would see at the drive-in theater. Okay, now we're going to take a look at Kate Gordon Murray's black and white horror films. Versus the Aztec mummy. They will bring you a night of terror. We dare you to see them, but don't come alone. The vampire's coffin. In an all new double horrorama show with The Robot versus the Aztec Mummy. Presented in Hypnoscope. To heighten the horror, shock your senses, kill your brain. It could only be shown at midnight. The Witch's Mirror. Since the beginning, witchcraft and black magic have existed. See an insane killer steal the bodies of beautiful young women from their graves. Horrible curses come to reality in The Witch's Mirror. See a doctor restore a maiden's beauty after being disfigured by The Mirror's Curse. See horror never before brought to the screen in The Witch's Mirror. She spread terror because she thirsted for power in the Curse of the Crying Woman. See nightmare after nightmare in the most terrifying picture ever to be shown. See the horror of her evil curses come to reality in The Curse of the Crying Woman. See a fight to the death with a vampire. See terrifying werewolves in their search for blood. For the most terrifying experience of your life, see the curse of the crying woman.
So that was Kay Gordon Murray's horror films. So did you get scared? Were they scary? Yeah, I know. But they're still fun, right? They're weird and fun. Now it's time to show you Kay Gordon Murray's Christmas movies. There's Santa Claus, and then he has Santa's Fairy Tales. I have volume one and volume two. Okay, now it's time to check out Kay Gordon Murray's Christmas movies. It's like living a storybook adventure beyond your wildest imagination. From the North Pole of Fantasyland comes a feature-length fable with the most enchanting characters in the whole wide world. Headed by the white-whiskered fellow who's the granddaddy of them all. Now, a magic motion picture transports you to an over-the-rainbow land, past the doors of Santa's towering castle, and the strange, mysterious, all-seeing eye, into a fantastic crystal laboratory filled with weird and wonderful secrets no one has ever seen before. You'll see them all, and you'll discover how Santa can watch every child on Earth and every good or bad thing they do. Now meet Merlin, the Wizard of Wizards, the Miracle Man of the Ages. Two for the show. Away we go. Hurry, Mr. Merlin. This is no time to play horses. Come face to face with the devil himself, a mischievous demon determined to mess things up as much as he can. It's yours. Nobody saw you take it, Lupita. They have more and they won't miss it. What does one little doll matter, don't you see? Leave it to that devilish trickster to sidetrack Santa up a tree. Watch the jolly hijinks of Santa Claus as he decides to fight fire with fire. Oh ho, a cannon! You won't want to miss the entertainment wonder of the ages. The treat of a lifetime for anyone who has ever believed there really is a Santa Claus. Donald's day, and Santa Claus hasn't come. Sleep now, darling. Sleep now and you will see. Maybe when you wake up, you'll find it, darling. You'll see more wonders than you can wave a wand at as a dazzling panorama unfolds before your startled eyes. Sunday matinee only at a theater near you. And that was Kay Gordon Murray's Christmas movies. Kay Gordon Murray's movie posters were always enchanting. Let's look at Kay Gordon Murray's fantasy fairy tale matinee movie posters. Now let's check out Kay Gordon Murray's horror movie posters. All right, now let's take a look at Kay Gordon Murray's Christmas movie poster. So that was The Wonderful World of Kay Gordon Murray. He also did Maxploitation Luchador films like Santo, which was renamed Samson when he redubbed them in English. Is it Luchador or Luchador? I'm sorry. Sorry if I don't say it right. It's Luchador, Luchador. I looked this up and I played it over and over again to get it right and I still can't get it. Luchador? Luchador. 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 The main actress who plays the wrestling woman versus the Aztec mummy is a very beautiful 
famous actress of Mexico. I don't know how you say her name. Lorena, Lorena Valquez. She was also a former beauty pageant title holder. She competed in Miss Mexico 1958 and came in second place, but afterwards she was Miss Mexico in 1960. She refused to represent Mexico in the Miss Universe pageant. She was the queen of the vampires. She played the rock and roll wrestling women. She plays in a lot of those movies that they now call Mexia go go movies. So that was today's video, Kay Gordon Murray. You should check out Kay Gordon Murray's website. I'll put the link in the description below. So if you like the story of Little Red Riding Hood, or, or if you like Kay Gordon Murray, or if you thought this was wonderfully weird video, or if you find me wonderfully weird, then like my video. Share my video with other people you think are wonderfully weird. Comment below and tell me some of the weird things that you think are fun. Keep it clean because I'm not that kind of girl. And if you want to know when the next Midnight Movie Madness is, then subscribe. And if you want to learn more about vintage pop culture, subscribe. I don't know when the Midnight Movie Madness is going to be over with. I might pull an all-nighter. So you should come in your pajamas. We have plenty of popcorn and soda pop. Next, you're going to be invited to a Tupperware party, and I'm going to have those little petite ham spread sandwiches. Okay, I'll see you at midnight. Bye. Don't forget to wear your pajamas.